Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to do a really quick intro before I got started with my altar tour. But today I am doing an altar tour on this channel. So I just wanted to say a quick disclaimer that a lot of witches do not think that you should show your altar. And some think that it is completely fine. It's basically just different for every single witch. Some people prefer their altar to never be seen by anybody and it be a sacred space, which is completely understandable. And some people want their altar to be open and give other people ideas on what they could use on their altar. So that is what I'm showing you guys today. My altar is a place where I just do my tarot card readings and um, I do a couple spells every once in a while. I haven't really delved too much into the whole spell type thing yet but I do a lot of tarot readings on there and that's pretty much it I'm not Wiccan I'm not pagan so I don't use it to give offerings to any types of god or goddesses or anything like that it's just a place where I just do my peaceful tarot readings and a place where I just feel safe and protected so I wanted to show you guys what my altar looks like because personally I just feel like it's not too big of a deal to show other people my altar and kind of give you beginner witches an idea of what you want to put on there. And altars, you can put literally anything you like on it. It doesn't have to be like anybody else's altar. You can make it your own. You can literally put anything that you like. I know some people who just find like little statues at thrift stores and just put different statues of different things. Some people put their favorite flowers on there. It's literally up to you what you want to put on there. So this video is just giving you an idea of things that you might want to do. If you're a closeted witch and you don't have a place to put an altar, you can always make a little travel altar. I know a lot of people who take little tins with them in their purses or their bags and they have the things in there that they want to make their little altar with. There's so many different types, but mine is just happens to be in my room and it's a permanent altar because I have the space for it. So I'm gonna quit talking now and I'm gonna get on to the tour. Okay, to get started, my altar is in my bedroom on my dresser right here. This is what my bedroom looks like. I have it kind of over here by itself. The only person who ever comes in my bedroom is my boyfriend and he's the only one who has really been around it. So it's very peaceful, um, you know, it's my own and I just really like the space that I have in here for it. This is a dresser from Ikea. Um, I don't remember what the dresser is called and it has tons of space for my altar. So this is what it looks like looking frontwards. I mean, I guess there's not too much on here. It, I just put stuff on here that I like. So first of all, this right here is just a scarf. Um, it's one of those blanket scarves. I wanted something to put down just so like incense ash and things like that don't stain my dresser. And I had this scarf in my closet because I don't wear them and it looked nice. So I put it down. You don't need anything fancy really to put underneath your altar. A lot of people like to do like different types of cloths and things. I just ended up using a scarf. So starting over here, this is where I burn my incense. So I have this cool little like incense waterfall thing. Um, I have a cone on it right now and when the incense cone burns, the smoke goes in here and here and here and it kind of looks like a little waterfall. It's like five dollars at Walmart. Pretty cool. I just got it because I wanted something to be able to burn my cones on and this was the only thing I could find. And then I got this at Walmart as well. It's just like a one dollar incense burner and this is obviously where I burn my incense. And then I always have a lighter. This is a lighter that I bought. It has cat eyes on it. And then over here I have a mason jar. It did have flowers in it and they're currently dead so I need to um, replace them and put some new flowers in there and then I also have some rainwater as you can see you can also see if you're able to it's super dirty um, obviously rainwater is not clean I tried to refill this every single time it rains and it rained yesterday and it's supposed to rain today actually so this is fresh rainwater and it's also set by the moon, so it's moon charged as well. And over here I have my Himalayan salt lamp. I got this on Amazon um, when I moved into my old apartment, so about a year ago. And I keep it on like as a nightlight every night just because I think it is beautiful. I just have it on here because I like the ambience it gives and I just think it's absolutely stunning and it's like a big crystal. So next I have this little chest and if you saw my witchcraft haul, um, all of my little spices and stuff actually came in this chest. So I'll just go ahead and show you what's inside. Um, I have this little like 
velvet cloth that I got that I just kind of cover everything with so it doesn't look as messy. But um, I put my crystals on it sometimes. And then I have more lighters. Um, I have this spider one. And then I have some incense cones. This one is the full moon cones. Um, this is one of the ones that I burned on the full moon and it smells amazing. Then I have some more lighters. This came in a big set. I basically just keep all of my lighters in here. And then I have some Palo Santo sticks. And then I have a sage bundle, which I absolutely hate the smell of natural sage burns. I feel like it smells like BO, so I never actually burn it, but I got it in a kit, so I just keep it down here. But whenever I burn sage, I use incense because I cannot stand the smell of this stuff. That's pretty much everything I just keep down in there. It's kind of more for storage, but I just love the chest, so I just like to keep the chest on my altar. All right, coming beside the chest, I have two candles. I have a white candle and a red candle. They don't really mean anything specific. I just like to light them. I don't have anything on my altar that has to do with like a god or a goddess. Um, I'm not Wiccan, I'm not pagan or anything like that. So I don't really like use my altar to give offerings or anything to a god or a goddess. I just have these candles because white can basically mean anything. And red is for like love spells and things like that. So I just have them there. And then this thing right here is my absolute favorite. I actually recently got it on Etsy. It came from the United Kingdom. Um, it's handmade, it's beautiful, and that's where I keep most of my stuff on it, and I absolutely love it. So up here, I have all of my spices. Um, let's see, I have some licorice root, St. John's wort, jasmine flowers, lavender buds, mugwort herbs. I have a lot of different things in here that I got off of Etsy as well, and I just keep them all up here. I've used the red rose petals and the lavender flowers a lot in a many different um, bath rituals that I've done. And then going down one more, I have some oils. So I have frankincense, rosemary, bergamot, vanilla, lavender, and patchouli. And then I also have this little spoon that I use to try to scoop out the spices. It's kind of hard to do because these are super small jars, but I just keep that right there. Then I, just to fill this space, I put two white tea light candles, and this is actually my little wand. It came in a kit. Um, I can also use it as a pendulum, but I just like to say it's my wand and I just keep it sitting there. And then down here I have my crystals. So I have five different crystals. My favorite one is the amethyst one just because amethyst is my absolute favorite crystal. And I'm sorry that the lighting and my camera quality is really bad right now. My lighting in my room is horrible, so. Got some selenite, fluorite, um, clear quartz, rose quartz. Those are the only crystals that I have. I got this in a little kit thing and it's black tourmaline, I think that's how you say it. So I just keep this sitting over here with it underneath it so I don't forget what it is. And then in front I have my little cauldron. I got this off Etsy. It's made out of actual iron. Um, I have a Palo Santo stick in there. Um, I don't really use it but I just have it in there. And then I have some stuff that was burning in there. So I use this to make spells where I write down on a piece of paper and then I burn it in the cauldron. That's pretty much all that I've used it for so far, but I absolutely love it. It is beautiful and it's super heavy. And then this may be kind of weird, but I have my Crusted Gecko Shed right here. I honestly just put it here because I thought it was really cool. I just think it's really pretty. So I've just had it sitting here because I've never had like a full shed from him like that before where he hasn't eaten it. So I just thought it was cool. All right, then right here I have my Book of Shadows. I keep my Book of Shadows here because when I'm doing tarot readings or different spells, rituals, I like to write them down. I'm not gonna show um, what's on the inside just cause personally I don't really want to show the things that I've wrote down in here, but that's where I keep it because I do my tarot readings right here and I like to write it down. Then going over here, I have just like this little candle plate where I keep more white candles and I also have a green candle. I use this candle to do a money spell and the money spell has been working absolutely amazing. So I've just kept this here first of all because it has an amazing scent to it and it makes my room smell good. And then back here I just have some incense sticks. So I have lavender, sage, and this is what I use to cleanse because it smells amazing. And I have frankincense which I love the smell of and then black cherry. And then in here, I actually have more incense and it's just dragon's blood cones and sticks because that's what came in this little box. I got it from Walmart 
It's just tons of dragon's blood. Then I have this little pouch. I keep it here because when I do certain spells, um, it's good to have put them in a pouch and kind of tie it up and carry it around with you. I also have extras like little black bags, brown bags, a bunch of different colors as well somewhere else, but I just keep this one here because I like the design on it. And then this is my little like tarot reading section. I have it surrounded by amethyst crystals. This is actually a little light string thing and it does light up. Um, the batteries are dead right now, but I just keep it surrounded by amethyst just to keep it, you know, protected and I just think it looks really pretty. So I have my oracle cards right here and then I have my two tarot sets that I use the most. I use this one on myself and then I use this one on others. And I just have this little card that came with that little shelf and it says, the universe is not outside of you. Look inside yourself, everything you want, you already are. So I just thought it was nice to just kind of put here and remind yourself about that. Then I have another white candle that I light and then I have the books and journals that I use to study. So I have the Mindful Witch Journal, Wicca by Harmony Nice, Wicca by Murphy Hiscock, The Modern Witchcraft Grimoire, The Modern Guide to Witchcraft, and then I have this really cute um, coloring book of shadows. So if you're very intimidated on making your own book of shadows, this one is actually one that's made for you and you can color it and fill it out and everything. I haven't actually even done anything in it, but it's super cool. You just fill out the things that you do. It tells you the moon phases and everything of that month, and it's really nice. Um, I got it on Amazon if any of you guys are interested in it. And then another Wicca book. And then I have this bookend that I got at Halloween. And I didn't want to put it into storage. So I used this as the bookend. And then this is just my fan. <laughs> and then down here I keep extra stuff. Um, I have a bunch of these little jars to do spells with. As you can see they're just of glass jars. And then it also comes with little tags to name what the spell is and little funnels to put stuff in there. So I just keep these over here kind of out of the way. And then I have tons and tons of extra candles and scent things in there. I'm not going to open it, but I have tons of candles and extra things in there. And that is the tour of my altar. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said at the beginning, this is just what my altar looks like. It's nothing special, but it is special to me. So this just gives you, you know, a kind of an idea of what a just beginner witch's altar looks like. I love it. I feel at peace when I'm around it. I feel relaxed when I'm around it and I think it is beautiful for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions or comments or any other witch video requests, then just comment down below. But until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!